Hi, everyone. Welcome to this demo session. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how data sets uh, about that were made available uh, to users via uh, self-public buckets, uh, Elbert, Elbert first, and uh, all the documentation and uh, the corresponding notebooks that were on the repositories were uh, condensed in a format called chapter book. Uh, so first of all, uh, let me show you how to uh, how the data sets were stored. Uh, so we have data sets stored uh, on the, this bucket called OPF data catalog and there's a top data set prefix. Uh, so you have three prefixes which correspond to the three types of data sets that you can find uh, on the repository. So you have uh, security, solver, and inspections, uh, which correspond to the performance data sets. So now we can, you know, where we can find the um, data sets. So instead of the zip files you, ha uh, you had on the repository before that we were managed with uh, Git LFS, uh, you can now access, uh, access them uh, on the cloud, which is much more practical for users uh, who, don't, who don't wish to download directly the data sets because they can be very, very large in size. So the second thing I wanted to show uh, was how to build a Jupyter book from the documentation and the notebooks uh, used in the data set repository. So you have uh, two ways of doing that. You can use uh, either the Jupyter book command line uh, tool, so to, to build uh, this from uh, some from the repository and from some files uh, we had it to make a, a configuration and to organize the content of uh, the Jupyter book. Uh, and you can also enter it in Meteor. So I'm going to show you how to do the second one. Um, but first, let me show you uh, the configuration files. So uh, you have two, uh, actually two files that you need to have to build the distributor book. So the first one is config.yaml, uh, which contains general information about the repository. Uh, and the second one is table of contents. So here you can see that uh, I organize this. Uh, so that we can have the documentation uh, of each type of data sets um, followed so on the form of the of a readme file uh, followed by by the notebooks uh, which are not interactive but uh, which should have the output of the data cell displayed so that users can see the results of the computations and you also have uh, template notebooks just for uh, so for to uh, for users to explore also uh, so now let me show you how to build the Jupyter book. Uh, so what I'm going to do is to copy the GitHub uh, repository link and enter it in Meteor. So as you can see, it is now building. So this might take a while. So I I have an already uh, ready version. So I'm going to show what uh, it looks like. So it looks like this. So you have this nice uh, HTML page uh, with a menu uh, uh, and a main page which is which is actually the readme of the dot uh, data set repo. Um, so here you can see that you have uh, some markdown to explain the general purpose of the repository. And then you can explore uh, the data sets by category. So for example, uh, here you're redirected towards the performance uh, data set readme file. So when you can see some general information about the data sets. Uh, and then you have uh, different uh, notebooks, Jupyter notebooks that uh, are uh, displayed like this. So you can see the computations, uh, you can copy them and everything is organized under several chapters or parts. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, thank you for listening and see you.